Hi Jay, okay, so this is for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Um, I, while reading the play, I kind of just took down a couple of, like, lines or quotes that I thought were interesting. So the first one I have is, Martha hasn't changed for me in years. And then the next one I have is, um, I am preoccupied with history. I thought these two quotes kind of cor correlated to each other just with the fact that they're so dependent on um, what happened in their marriage rather than focusing on the present and where they can go with this marriage. Um, you see that kind of throughout the play too. They always focus on their faults. They almost seem to be addicted to fo focusing on e each other's faults and there's a sense of being trapped in this. Um, I just really like the line, I am preoccupied with history, just because it's, it, it goes along with the sense with they can't move on because they're still processing everything that has happened. Um, not only in the uh, field that he went into for college teacher, but for the life that he lives, he's preoccupied with history as well as history in general. Um, <laughs> I thought one of the funny lines were, in my mind, Martha, you are buried in cement. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. They they have a lot of quick wit comments back and forth at each other. Um, but I did think that one of the reasons why this play could be banned is because it has a mention of a pre-marriage pregnancy. Um, and I know how often our government depends on religious things to kind of ban things, even though we claim to have no religion in our government. Uh, that was quite possibly a reason why this could be banned, so. Um, the next quote I wrote down is, I've been trying for years to clean up the mess I've made. That That's just a... It's a, it's a really, really hard-hitting quote from this story, and I think it really sums up the whole idea of this marriage and marriage in general and relationships. Um, it also ties, ties in with the Martha hasn't changed for me in years, and I am preoccupied with history. Again, just kind of symbolizing what this whole play is about. Um, um, and I also thought it was kind of cool that the play talks about censorship within the play, uh, with Georgie's novel he wrote. Um, and he says, like, this really happened to me. And so just because it happened to him, and I mean, it is a gruesome topic, but they censored it because they didn't want to deal with the harsh truth of the world and they were kind of embarrassed of it and so they kind of said no this is never going to get published etc um some themes throughout the show were emotional dependence um so i kind of thought that martha knows she's desirable that's why she, she hits on the younger um man and but george george says that he doesn't like this but I think that George likes the chase of chasing Martha, of something that he can never attain. Kind of still being stuck in that, he thinks that um, since he is so preoccupied with history, he has this mindset where he can never change from this mindset of never being good enough for Martha. So he loves the chase because it's re-validating his feelings that he can't ever change. Uh, Nick and Honey goes up and goes down. <laughs> uh, so I thought that was a really funny line that Nick had, but also really tragic um, that he finds that he's trapped in this marriage and Honey is wanting, probably has this will of not feeling good enough for Nick when she had this hysterical pregnancy and there's just a lot in Honey that can be unpacked. Even as an actor, I think I would love to play Honey as a character just because she has so much going on and I think she's one of the underrated characters of the show. Um, so truth and illusion, 
they kind of pretended they know the difference. They're like, yeah, blah, 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 invite everyone in. We're going to talk really weird around them. But they're in the solution of they have to stay trapped in this. And they keep going in this cycle of self-hate and self-hatred for one another, um, et cetera, et cetera, throughout their whole marriage and throughout the whole show. Um, but yeah, they're isolated together, so... And the illusion that they've created offers comfort, even though it brings discomfort to everyone who witnesses them or who is around them. But yeah. Yeah, that's what I gotta say about this one. Thanks, Jay.